guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're talking about how you can stand out at interview and increase your chances of getting that job offer. So talking about 11 ways you can stand out plus a few bonus tips, make sure to keep watching so you can get all of the value that I've put into this video. Okay, the first one is to research company values. Companies do like to shape their culture around their values, especially the larger companies. Make sure to check out their website and any other printed materials that might give you a clue onto their value statements. Indeed, there are some large companies that go out of their way to print their principles or their values around the place. For example, Robert Iger, also known as Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, at least at the time of making this video, on the prologue actually of this book, the Ride of a Lifetime actually printed some of the values of Disney. So we've got optimism, courage, focus, decisiveness, curiosity, etc. So you can definitely check out the values and principles of other brands. Indeed, Bridgepoint, I think, Ray Dalio's company, he also has books and audiobooks about his principles as well. Number two, famously in The Apprentice in the UK, it's a television show, the guy that won The Apprentice many years ago researched the annual report. Why would you dig into the annual report to get a job? Well, in the annual report of any listed company, you get a lot of information about how the company is structured, which sections of the company make the most money, which are the most profitable, which bring in the most revenue. I also talk about the goals of the company, the future of the company, what's been working well and what's not been working well. So it's a really insightful way of digging deep into the data. You might not always be able to bring it out in the interview, but certainly it can give you a really great perspective on where the company is and where it's going. And if you can drop one or two you know, nuggets of information that you've gleaned from the annual report, it's really gonna make you stand out. The third way to stand out at interview is to try to understand the structure of the organization. This is certainly particularly important for larger companies. I think there are four sort of easy ways to try to ascertain the structure of the organization. One is to check out their website. Different pages may correspond to the different segments or different areas of the business. If they're a large organization, they may have a site map or something at the, the foot or the bottom of the page. They may indeed also have multiple websites. Some bigger companies, parent companies, may have subsidiary brands. What does that mean? Sort of brands that sit under the parent company, for example, Disney, where I'm currently interviewing, fingers crossed I get the job for that, has you know Pixar and has these other brands, Nat Geo and ESPN. By going on the main website, you can sort of you might be able to see the other subsidiary brands websites and sort of start to understand the structure of the organization. Also, different country websites, they may structure um, the company around country, not around brand. And we've already mentioned fourth one, which is checking out their annual report. You can also check out their news statements. They'll be sending out news statements if they're a listed company, if they're public, they'll be sending out news statements. If they're not listed, they may be sending out sort of PR to trade press, so magazines in their industry. They may be going to events. You might be able to check out the talks they're doing at conferences and that kind of thing. And also checking out the founders and they may be talking about the structure of the organization or where it's going and things like that. The fourth way to stand out for your job interview is to read the books of the leaders of the organization. For example, I said I'm interviewing at Disney. I recently bought the Disney book. It's fascinating. You can learn about how the company has grown and how it's led. It doesn't hurt to sort of throw in, a, if you can, a quote or something like that. You don't want to sound too sort of pretentious, but I think it's always useful to read a background. You also learn some, some interesting lessons of leadership and that kind of thing. Five, the way to stand out at the interview, not everybody does this, but go deep with the job description. Try to come up with some really great examples using the STAR methodology, situation, task, action, result. Getting some experiences from your life and applying them to what they're looking for in the job description. That's number five. Number six, check out their profile on Glassdoor, which is a website which reviews companies. There'll be reviews from previous employees. You can also check out some of them have interview questions from past interviews. Definitely want to look at Glassdoor. I'll put the link in the description. Seven, the seventh tip on how you can smash it at the interview is to check out their profile on LinkedIn. Check out who works there, check out their reviews, check out their company page, that kind of thing. Definitely make sure to check out their LinkedIn. Number eight is to check out their reviews. If they are a B2C company, i.e. they do, you know, they get most of their custom from individuals. They will have reviews online. You can check out things like trusted reviews and there'll be other reviews websites. They might sell on Amazon. Check out those reviews as well. You might be able to glean some information on how products, services, etc. can be improved. 
obviously you don't want to be too negative in the interview, but it does give you an idea of how the company works, etc. Some other things which I think are quite creative, how you can stand out in an interview is to go into their stores. If they have stores, go into them. I recently went into a Disney store based in Stratford in London and spoke to one of the managers there about what's possible. Obviously I work in marketing, so I asked her what would be possible for a product launch. You can get a lot of information by speaking to you know, members of staff as well as managers at stores if they have a store presence. You can also pose as a customer online, so if they have an online presence and if they have an e-commerce store or website, you can buy a product at low cost or you know, if it, whatever your budget is, you can buy a product and you can sort of see that experience, you can test their products and services themselves. Also, you can review the competition, that's the final goal. And the 11th tip, remember there are bonus tips, so stay tuned. The 11th tip is to check out their competition. If you can afford to buy their products, sign up to their emails, etc., etc. Maybe speak to their sales team or phone them up. And you can get some experience by understanding the competitive landscape. That all sort of goes down well with a lot of interviews. And what about these bonus tips? Well, the bonus tips is to prepare some insightful questions. You've done a lot of this research now, you've looked at annual report, you've maybe read the CEO's books, you've maybe gone on to LinkedIn, their Glassdoor, you've done all these things, write down some insightful questions. Try, if you can, also to link it to the job description. If, for example, that your job description talks about using, I don't know if it's in marketing, some channels to do with marketing, what innovative channels you could use, you could try to link in, which I'm gonna try and do, the store channels, which digital marketers don't always think about, and also leveraging some insight from the CEO as well as the annual report. You can link that all into one answer and without sort of sounding too pretentious, you can, you can give fantastic answers. So somebody asked me, for example, how would you come up with innovative channels to launch a product with for something like Disney? I would say something like, well, uh, most digital marketers forget about in-store or offline services, so I would try my best to link those two. I'd have promotions in-store, maybe with online discounts, maybe even QR codes or something like that. And maybe using digital screens as well. And according to the CEO's values, of decisiveness and not giving up. I would make sure to test and learn those channels. That's just an example, just off the top of my head. But I think it's really useful to do that. Link your research with some star experiences. If I were to go on, this is an interview, but if I were to go on, I would give an example of how I've done that before. For example, I did that with the launch of Travelux and Samsung. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like to help me on YouTube. Sometimes people comment to say I haven't had a lot of views. I think every little helps, so if you can like, subscribe and share with your family and friends and anyone that would be interested in these kinds of videos, that would be most helpful. And if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below in the comments box and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you want any additional insight in terms of freelancing, contracting or doing better in your career, you can check out my website, progressiseverything.co.uk or you can email me directly, progressiseverything at gmail.com. Also offer coaching, mentoring and that kind of thing as well. Guys, I love making these videos. If you've got any sort of requests about any kind of video that you think would be helpful for your career or your progress, then do let me know in the comments section below. Remember, knowledge is power, especially the right knowledge. Progress is everything and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you check out my other videos for tips, tricks and hacks as well as other pros and cons.